Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to talk about XML parser transformation in Informatica. So scenario is like uh, we have a CSV file with which contains uh, XML tag at each line. So this is the st structure for the XML tag. So there are 14 uh, records and each record is a separate XML tag. So you can see uh, employee ID, e name, and salary. So these three fields are uh, present for each record. For all 14 records, these three set of things are there. Then, uh, how to parse this um, CSV file? So to parse this CSV file, we need a transformation that is called XML parser transformation in Informatica and uh, the final output will be the target uh, relational target and that is employee xml parser target so which will have only employee number e name and salary field so uh, let me create a mapping so first uh, what we have to do is we have to import uh, the source uh, uh, structure the XML structure so I'm going to check where, where is this uh, XML structure is so this is uh, the XML CSV file with XML tag so I'm going to copy this uh, in the source files of info shared Now, second thing is I'm um, going to import not database. It is a file, so import from file. Informatica Power Center Server Info Shared and Source Files. Click all the files. So next, next, and finish it. So uh, you can edit the column like XML input. Click OK. So this is uh, having only one column, XML input column, control S. Now what, what is our target? So we have to import target from database. So I have created target in a batch 11 schema. Click OK. So I, ha I have already imported this XML parser. So we have source and target present. Now click on mapping designer, create a mapping that will be start from small m parser XML parser. So drag and drop uh, your source so in this case it's a csv xml target so arrange all so after this what we need we need a transformation called xml parser transformation So to create XML parser transformation, we need um, 
either a XML definition or X, a XST or, or that file. So I'm going to create an XST file. So I have already the structure present. So um, what is my uh, my XST looks uh, looks like? So in XST uh, in uh, the, in the XML file I have only uh, employee ID, e name, and salary. So this is a main uh, tag. Inside this we have uh, employee ID, e name, and salary. So this is the structure for this uh, XML. Click on. Uh, So this is employee.xml click yes then ok then next then I set up done so in my previous uh, video in xml generator so in that the output the output was only the only one field that that was data output field but in the parser the input is one field and the output is the other tags so I'm linking this XML input with this data input of uh, XML parser so what it will do it will pass this uh, incoming uh, file input and break this in th uh, this uh, this tag employee ID, e name and salary elements So let me check first uh, what is the data type of uh, ename. This is one. So change change this to hundred. Okay. I can verify it. string 100 for a string so uh, after after this XML parser we need a target uh, definition so target definition is XML target not this one this is employee XML parser and link these three fields with this so this is valid uh, mapping I am going to create a I am going to generate a workflow this is shortcut way to create a workflow so to check the uh, latest uh, latest uh, workflow uh, version you have to disconnect this and connect again or open it so this is the workflow we have created so what we have to ch uh, give here in workflow we have to give a correct file location so uh, source file name is ok correct and this source file direct directory this is a dollar pm source file directory it is pointing to same info shared source file directory so this is ok now uh, check this uh, target so this uh, target is in the relational uh, database that is and uh, the schema name is batch 11 load type is normal click ok and save it 
now I run the workflow and check whether so you can see uh, this uh, session got succeeded so this is source qualifier so it pulled 14 records and 14 rock, uh, records got inserted into, into the target so let me check uh, so how many records got inserted into the target okay so all 14 records got inserted into the target thank you for watching this video thanks